Everyone, feel free to congratulate your champion. <laughs> take me back to that match point you watched it and said first time I hit it why then honestly I think I was going for that serve the whole match and missing it and then uh, <laughs> I was like if ever there's a time to make it this is the one so I literally gave absolutely everything into that one and uh, yeah I landed it couldn't believe it I, I still can't believe it I'm still so wired in the match and um, yeah I can't believe this one's next to me <laughs> 20 sets in a row 10 matches, 19 days. You start in qualifying. It's never happened before. Take us to your first qualifying day and share with us some of your feelings going into that first qualifying match. You know, there's a running joke in my team because before my first round qualifying match, I lost my AirPods and I was basically running around the changing rooms like three minutes before my uh, call to go on trying to find it, but I lost it. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? If you win this match, you can buy yourself a pair of AirPods, and that's become the right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? Did you have your airplane ticket already? Like, after I'm pretty the sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. Cause, like, we did. It. We were saying, you know, this is going to be a five-week trip, my longest trip ever, and it's now a seven-week today trip, and it's it's just nuts. Like how we were joking about it, and to actually be here in the final. Yeah. You know, when you said you lost your AirPod, is it the first time you sounded like an 18-year-old <laughs> for the last three weeks? That is so typical. <laughs> is there something special about sharing the stage with another teenager? The two of you will have this link forever throughout your careers. Yeah, of course. It shows how strong the next generation is. And, you know, in the women's game right now, there's so much depth. And uh, I hope that me and Layla can play each other in many more finals and matches because the level today, I mean, I had to play some of my best tennis and, and she was coming out with incredible shots. And I knew that if I didn't take the ball on, she would and she would hit a winner past me. So uh, I thought that, yeah, both of us were playing fearless tennis the whole two to three weeks and um, it got us here. And today was always going to be a difficult match. I was on your last two matches at Wimbledon and we, we didn't really know you at ESPN until Wimbledon. I'm just wondering what you learned, especially Emma. <laughs> Emma, what did you learn? Oh my God. Oh wow. What did you learn in your last match at Wimbledon? Yeah, I learned um, a lot of things. I think that over the last five weeks, I've definitely developed physically because of just playing matches. I played in, like, in an insane amount of matches and uh, just naturally you, you get stronger and more accustomed to the situation. And um, also just to, you know, really keep your head cool and stay calm in those high pressure situations. Um, and I think that this fortnight or three weeks, that's definitely shown I've had a lot of like tough times in games or being like down adversity. And um, I think keeping a cool head and focusing a lot more on the process has definitely helped. I'm curious to know exact how nervous were you walking out on the court? And were you more nervous because you were playing a peer, someone close in age to you? Yeah, I would say yesterday and this morning I was feeling a lot of weird feelings. Like, I don't really know what. It was just like something was a bit strange. Um, hadn't really felt it, but then I just accepted it. That is natural, you know, playing a Grand Slam final. But I was just trying not to think of the occasion as much as possible. Um, but when I got out there onto Ash, having played three matches on there, I honestly felt straight, like, almost felt at home, which is kind of weird to say on Ash. But uh, wow. it was incredible atmosphere for both of us and um, I think that from the first point I, I just thought like business as usual and um, I didn't I didn't feel like there were any additional nerves during the match but uh, before yes well, it would have been completely normal yeah. for you to play nervous so <laughs> one thing you've told us you're very interested in financials and investments and maybe visiting Wall Street and that certainly seems wise right now do you still plan on checking that off your bucket list in New York? I yeah, I definitely want to go have a look. I mean, it's something that I want to. I've said to my team since I got here there in New York, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't it's, believe it. It seems apropos after <laughs> after the big win today. It really does. Tomorrow we're back and we'll be following Novak Djokovic trying to make history on the heels of your history. Do you have any thoughts on the weekend you're sharing, possibly with the greatest to ever play? Yeah, I mean, I was. 
just walking around like for example Wimbledon I, I knew absolutely no one on the tour uh, I was just there like I still feel like I'm the new cleared on the block and um, you know just just to be around these top players it's incredible and um, what Novak's achieved and what he's going for is absolutely insane but uh, yeah he's gonna it's gonna be a great match to watch Medvedev is playing extremely well and is in ex very good form Congratulations to you. Enjoy Great this job. weekend, all the history that comes with it. You've earned it. Emma Raducanu. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.